when we played Manchester City, there were nearly 2,600 empty seats. So what do you think has gone wrong? It's hard to say. Uh, it could have been the price. I believe it was £40 to get in yesterday. Um, if you've got floating supporters, um, that's going to put people off probably. Um, possibly the way we were playing last year has affected that. I don't know. We've got to find a way with the marketing department, I think, of getting the ground full. But the atmosphere was back yesterday. I'm sure you agree. Yeah, I thought the atmosphere was brilliant, considering that... Uh we didn't sell out. Do you think that Stoke will get back to... I mean, the fans were really behind behind the guys and, and we hope that continues. But do you think we'll get back to the full crowds or do you think complacency has set in and we're a Premier League team now and people just feel, well, we'll go and watch the other game? I think there's a bit of that. Um, I think the marketing department, have, um, you know, they, they've, they've got some responsibility to get people in. There may be the ticketing, you know, the arrangements can be amended a little bit. Maybe we can be a bit more flexible on the season tickets at different stages of the season. You know, so the price can be reflected pro rata maybe. You know, to perhaps when people see this encouraging start, maybe encourage them to get a season ticket for the rest of the season and, um, you know, they can fill the ground again. And finally, Russell, before we let you go, because we know you're a busy man, um, if you had a chance to speak to Stoke supporters, which you have now, why would you say they should come and pack the Brit? I think because the football's better, the entertainment's there, we're still in the Premiership, we've got the best squad we've had for a number of years, um, and the boys deserve support. Thanks, Russ.